you really thought you could get away with it, didn't you? You thought you could go into that grocery store, pick up a box of lettuce, enjoy the convenience, relish in its glory. No. I love your colon, girl, it's my world. I won't ever make a sound. So I had an interesting night. So I go into the grocery store. You have two options for salad ingredients. You got your fresh lettuce on the side. It's watered every couple minutes. You got the produce clerk, he's there turning it and whispering sweet nothings. You got the spinach over there, kale. The world is your oyster, vegan oyster. Never, oh you. So you got a choice. You can go get the fresh stuff or you can go to the dark side and pick up a box of pre-washed, pre-cut, pre-shut the. So I did it. I went and grabbed myself a bag of spinach and I let it sit for a couple days in my fridge. It wasn't spinach time yet. I got a whole schedule, it wasn't ready. And I opened this bag up and it smells a little off. I was like, that, that's not how that's supposed to smell. That's, that's wrong. There were little slimy black bits of spinach and I was just, I picked it all out and I was like, I'll just wash the good stuff and we're all good. So I washed it all in hot water thinking that'll kill anything. And I was wrong. I was wrong. The next day, I wake up just exhausted. Didn't know why, I was just like, what the hell is happening to me? I'm so tired. I'm standing here at my desk and I'm just like, I wanna sleep. And as the day progressed, I just, I started getting the sensitive body. You know, when you have the flu and you're just, everything is so sensitive, it just hurts to touch your skin. And I was like, I'm dying. I got the squirrel rabies. I fed that squirrel, he bit me. Now I'm good, I have the plague, help me. So I take my temperature, I got 101 fever. And the only cure for a fever is more cowbell. And I, I didn't have one, so I, I laid down and I sweat throughout the night. Not a cowbell in sight, that rhymed. Let me tell you something, I haven't been sick in three years. This is my third year, no sickness. I used to get sick in the very beginning when I was really unhealthy, I'd get sick every few months. And then as I went vegan, I still got sick that once a year around Christmas time. And I don't know why that was, but I just, I have not been sick in three years now. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I hope it just continues for the rest of my life. Never again sickness. But even when you go vegan, you get sick, it's not as bad. The meat eating colds are the worst colds on earth. You get that sore throat in your upper palate that just hurts every time you swallow. You're just like, ah, oh, oh, oh. don't swallow again. No. You're sneezing for two days, then you gotta cough for three days, and it just, it takes like a week or two out of your life. You're ruined for that amount of time. But after going vegan, the colds were like nothing. I got like the slight upper palate irritation for like a day, and then the next day I sneezed like seven times, and then the third day I was like a little tired still, and then I'm on with my life. So that's been, like the biggest benefit of going vegan, just no more colds and the colds you do get are so much less severe. So I'm just so grateful to have my life back. I feel like a damn wizard. You feel like what? Like a wizard? You think you feel like I feel? Well, yeah, I think so. You seriously think that what I feel on a day-to-day -day basis is even remotely similar to what you're experiencing right now. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I just feel good. So I guess you can hold a four dimensional densified planet and contain its gravitational field in the palm of your hand. I, I doubt it. I, I don't know. I, it was just a saying.
Well, be careful what you say then. Is that a threat? Ah, fuck. Ah, what the hell, man? Damn you, Cassius. Why are my characters so mean? So that's about it. I just wanted to promote some awareness about these boxed pre-cut vegetables and stuff. They get the bacteria so much easier wrapped in a plastic container. It's just like they don't breathe. Everybody needs to breathe. The living beings of this earth like to breathe. So get fresh whenever you can. Forgo the convenience. A little chopping never hurt nobody. It's a meditation. Feels good feels good just don't chop your fucking finger off so that's about it i think we're done here thanks for watching thumbs up if you like the video subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next one share the videos no what you fools are missing is absorbable calories you know what you're missing a heart the way you look and talk, man, you have no fucking clue about nutrition and medicine. Dude gets exhausted on a fruit meal. <sighs> Diabetes is funny now. It's funny. Why the fuck is this dude creeping me out? <laughs> you look rather bad though. Please eat something. So that's just some of what I get whenever I make a vegan gains video.